matrix mineralization is a big thing in our human body because we have bones, we have enamel, we have dentin. Dentin is a calcified tissue. It is not as hard as enamel, but uh, it's very similar to bone in structure. So what we are trying to do is to identify molecules in this dentin matrix that we could use for tissue regeneration. Currently, the practice is to use dental materials, and these dental materials do not promote tissue regeneration. They can fix a tooth, but if we have materials that can regenerate the dentin, as nature does, then you have a functional tooth. We discovered a dentin matrix protein one, three decades ago, and we've been working on this protein ever since then. And it's really fascinating because it's not only in the matrix, it's also in the nucleus, it can act as a transcription factor, it can uh, promote differentiation of adult stem cells or embryonic stem cells into dentin forming cells. So we've been looking at how does this molecule function in so many different ways. So we have published several reports on what it does in the exocellular matrix. It can bind collagen, it can bind mineral, and start the process of crystal nucleation and mineral growth. So what does it do intracellular? So now our research is focused on the role of DMP1 inside the cell. Another interesting aspect of the research in my lab is to use these signaling molecules in tissue repair and regeneration. There are several tissues which get calcified due to inflammation, due to uh, trauma. So some of those examples are like breast cancer, you have mineral nodules, calcification of the heart valves, you have a kidney stone formation. So the proteins that we find in the tooth are predominantly the ones that cause this calcification process. And so if we identify the players in the tooth, we could see that these are the causative factors in pathological calcification.